Hello and welcome to the 10th HTML tutorial in a series of HTML tutorials. If you have not seen the others, I suggest going back and watching them. Okay, so today I'm going to be going over um, image mapping. I actually got a, tutor a tutorial request for this by, um, uh, let's see, over here it's, his name is Jackie, Jack Kid, J Kid, however you pronounce that. And uh, so today I'm just going to be going over image mapping. So. What you're gonna want to do is open up the file created in the last tutorial in um, what's it called whatever uh, text editor you use. I just happen to be using Notepad plus plus, and also in whatever web browser you use, which I use Firefox. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, as you can see, it's blank. Besides the my website thing, which you can't really see, but yeah. Um, so, image mapping is a little confusing. First off, what you're going to want to do is create an image. Uh, if you don't know what Im image mapping is, look it up on Google. Um, image mapping is basically where different parts of a picture are clickable, and each different part will bring you to a different website. So, just make some like little image that you want for image mapping. Um, I just threw one together in Paint like in five seconds which is this one right here and um so you, after you've done that you're gonna also want to find a program called uh sorry, let me just get to it uh go to google.com it's called miracle image map generator uh this is what i use because um image mapping from scratch is actually extremely hard so this just makes it a lot easier so you want to go full install download it and everything but I already have it so I'm just going to cancel that and I'll have a link to this in the description um, but I'm just going to go back to my website and so you'll get a setup thing and you just want to download that and once you have that you're going to want to open it up I have mine right here yeah miracle image map generator have this little opening thing and there it is. So once you have this open, find the file by going to new file new image map app, load image from hard drive. You go to image mapping thing is what I called it. I'm very creative. Um, and then the number of things will be mine will be three because we're probably with the Google, YouTube, and Facebook. So, so three. Okay. Okay, now as you can see, this is a pretty simple layout, pretty user friendly. What you need to do is, if you want a rectangle, you can go down here, the rectangle, drag it on, and then resize it, so, move it out there, the right corner, or up right corner, and just drag it out until it's about the size of Google. And you can use any, you can use the circle, uh, just move that around. Make it bigger and smaller. I don't want this, so I can delete it. And you can also do uh, polygon. Polygon is if you have one that's oddly shaped, you can create multiple. Um, it's called, you can make, create multiple sides, so it can be as many sides as you want, really any shape you want. But I'm just going to use the rectangle because mine's just pretty simple. So I'll just get these three links. Um, things I want to link and just drag that on finally and put Facebook and there. And then up here, when you have uh, the thing, make sure you have it selected and go up here and type in the link. Make sure it's the direct link. So you have to have http colon slash slash www dot then the website. So push google.com and then so at the moment what it's going to do is it's going to open up in the current tab you have but I want to have it set so it opens to a new tab so the way you do that is go when you have it selected, uh, you go over here to frame target, scroll down, go to blank, or the underscore blank. 
And if you want it that to be for all of them, then make sure you have it set. And the rest of the stuff I won't really mess with. Just leave it alone. So you know what you're doing. Okay, then once that once that's done, go to file, save image map. Either save it to an HTML code file or save HTML to code to file. Um, but I'm just going to copy it. So copy HTML clipboard. That just means uh, it copied it for you. So I'm going to exit out of that. And then I'm going to go into my HTML document and paste the code. Now I'll save this and I'll refresh it. So right here. As you can see, it'll give me this little groping image thing because inside here, this gave you an image, or direct image uh, thing, but our browser has no idea where it is. So, what we have to do is we have to upload it to some sort of file or something. So, I'm going to go to like tinyfit.com and then just download the file, image map and thing, upload now. And when it loads, you're going to go to direct link for layouts. Copy that and go into your HTML code. Instead of um, image map and thing or whatever, instead of your file name, you're going to put in the website or the direct link thing that we just copied. Save that. Now, let me go back to my website and refresh. As you can see, it now is there. And when I click on Google, it opens up a new tab, which is Google. Uh, I'll grab that. Then I click on YouTube. Open a new tab, which is YouTube. And if I click on Facebook, it'll open up a new tab, which is Facebook. So that's basically what it does. As you can see over here, there's no clicking because it's not part of the image mapping. And uh, so that's been my tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or um, video request you can talk to me on my AIM account, which is CP Answerman. This is a an AIM account devoted completely to you guys, the so viewers. Um, you can also PM me or please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, bye.